Then the two depart the classroom with Sayori leading the way. We're gonna meet somebody. I bet it's gonna be Sayori. It, it, it can be Sayori, I don't know. I bet it's gonna be Natsuki. Hello and welcome back to Mr. Red Plays Doki Doki Literature Club, or should I say good morning and welcome back. Uh, it's currently 7.42 a.m. Actually, I think it was about 7.30 last time, but p.m. when I played this. This is the next day. I uh, did everything and then I went to edit and as I was editing, I was actually playing through this game so that I could unlock those other side stories. Now, I don't know if I've done all of them yet. Uh, I believe I have five, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got them all. Uh, so when I had played it uh, on the show, on the channel just now, uh, I was doing it through, uh, I think I was trying to focus on Natsuki, but I wasn't doing a very good job. I think I was getting more of Yuri's stuff, but then I chose Natsuki to help out with the thing. Uh, and I kind of did the opposite of that when I played through it. Uh, the third time after when I wasn't doing this, but the second time I focused on Sayori actually, which I had never actually really done too much of because Sayori always just felt like the character to just get you to the literature club. And I always kind of focused on Yuri because obviously she's the best. Uh, but I did that. I went through all of it and I, I guess I got them all. So we're going to look at these. But first, I, I'm really interested in like all this nonsense because like we have mail now. I've Laster, I Eve, I've Laster, have a nice weekend. Wait, oh, no, this is December 9th, 2019. All right, so to Untitled Mail Group, do not use, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, I've. Uh, I'm on leave the rest of the week. Contact Ravi if you need to schedule server time. But I expect my jobs to run for a few days since we've collected so much data this week. How about we arrange a meeting to discuss the results when I return? All right, so... This is from uh, Metaverse Enterprise Solutions. I've last... I'm assuming this is I've. Uh, he's the senior engineer. So this is exactly what I was hoping slash thinking when I saw this whole uh, desktop initially was that there was going to be something to this. There was going to be something that was lore-based or, or, or secrets. And that seems to be the case. We have mail now. Uh, I also love, I'm a huge fan of unlockables in games, where you have a list of things to fill out, and you gotta do it. It's always my favorite thing. It goes back to my Pokemon days. Uh, and we got that, because we have all these poems. Oh, and it even tells you how you get them. Natsuki's special poem, acquired by writing all three poems for her. And you can set your wallpaper. Wait! Are you saying, like, this wallpaper? <gasps> you can set that? Hold on a second find this out hell yeah dude actually this is a little busy i i, I kind of want it to be uh actually you know what let's straight up do it why not right awesome okay this is the way to be uh also these songs they are numbered in order so i have 15 unlocked right now it's one through 15 but i found out that when you unlock them they get added into the middle and then the number is included there so you don't know how many you're missing uh, i might have them all right now there's 15 i have but I keep unlocking more, so I, I'm willing to bet I don't have them all. Uh, and then files. There's 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 all these files, and I want to look at them. So obviously we have... Okay, so I did just uh, play the game again and beat it. Um, and so Monica's gone. She's deleted, but she restored everybody. I believe we cannot open any of these. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, so there's also game. All right. So there's scripts.rpa, which we can't open any of these, I bet. Yeah. But you could probably delete them. I don't know what would happen in that case. We got poem words. Oh, cool. Sayori's winning words. Oh, cool. All right. So this will tell you what words to choose for whomst. And it'll even give you like an order of something. I don't, I don't, I don't understand what these numbers are. So I, I may or may not have been looking. Oh, wait, it says right here. Never mind. We'll deal with that later. Word, S point, N point, Y point. Okay. So it's Sayori point, Natsuki point, and Yuri point. So this tells you uh, who likes it. So if I chose cute, it would get me two points for Sayori, three points for Natsuki, and one point for Yuri in that first example. That's good to know. 
you can look this up online, which I may or may not have been doing in order to get everybody's uh, uh, endings. I wasn't doing that. Let's assume we, I wasn't doing that. Uh, but this is cool. It, it gives you that information. That's neat. Can't open that. All right. Uh, internal. What is all this? What is all... Oh, there's nothing. All right. Okay, do I have to go through every one of these? I mean, I know I don't have to. Nothing's making me, but for my own brain, I have to. So I'm going to go through every one of these, and I'll, I'll catch you on the flip side. Oh, wait, I got something. Oh, wait. I can't open it, but it's a text file. Unable to open. Unknown error. Please try again later. No. That's weird. So for some reason, internal 03... Zero has something in it and it says meeting notes three. I Don't understand. No, oh, hold on. I got another thing internal one two three track track six name ideas Damn it. Why are all these try again leaders? Do, do I have to unlock these later? Huh, I, I kind of have a theory that this virtual machine that we're looking at here is actually a kind of real instance of a virtual machine and we're missing one. We're missing one. Uh, and these files, they're legitimate. Or at least they're a representation of legitimate files. I, I feel like everything that existed... So I feel like we're jumping around because I, I thought I was in two. Or I in one. Oh boy. I don't want to redo work, but... I, I, I don't want to miss anything, so I'm going to go back to two. But I'm saying that... Uh, some of these files that I was seeing before were like real. Okay. Project plan. All right. Interesting. It's just that if I were making this game and I had this idea for like these, this file system here, I would absolutely hide something in like a random string of folders. I would be like, okay, three, one, eight. And then there'd be something in there that you could actually work with. Not like these files that I can't do anything with. MES.txt. This is in 344. Surprise, surprise. I just wonder uh, if there is anything to these or if it's just kind of fun. Like, will I ever be able to open these? I hope so. Or are they just here to, like, tantalize you and tease you? DDLC. Ooh, this is the most important text. I Can't open it. Okay, 14.txt. By the way, another thing that concerns me is that the date stamp of these files... It's constantly updating itself to the current time. Like uh, right now it's 7.54 a.m. on July 1st. And uh, that's what these, these, these file dates are saying. Every time I go in and back out, they, they update, which makes me a little concerned. Just a little. Well, I think I've looked at everything. I guess there's backup. This is what I'm talking about, though. Like, I, I, I think all this stuff is like nonsense for me right now but if it was real files for the actual game tower keys access keys found so far from tower rotation key pair one gear 240 clock time 221 a three digit number combination somewhere maybe not maybe it's stuff key pair two boat key pair three spaceship key pair four what Okay, tower keys. Uh, access keys found so far from tower rotation. Okay, why why can this one is a text file that I can open, but th this one's not? All right, meeting notes one. Updated development timeline. New tasks. Test cases for new genetic model. Server time optimization idea. Automatic data collection? I don't like that. Data migration to encrypted file share on Monday. VM2 roadblocks. Row on VM2. Everyone else on VM1 for data collection. Ideas for data search types. Visual renders. Audio data. VM environment changes. Persistent variable tampering. Timestamps. Parsing thought patterns. No. Excessive server time needed. Parsing thought patterns. Meeting over time. You know who went on too many tangents again. I need to be more assertive about staying focused. Yeah, I should say so. So assuming this is, well, maybe not, because initially I was thinking that some of this was Monica, 
but she seems to be referring to other people, obviously, and that bodes strange. File copy test from disposable drive to thin client. I looked at all these, okay. Note, insecure directory. This is a scratch disk. Do not use it to store sensitive or permanent things. If you need to access to files from the encrypted file share, copy them to your disposable drive and plug it directly into the thin client. Do not copy them here. Rhea is uh, working on setting up a proxy mail server so we can have more pr have proper remote communication without having to worry about the higher-ups. Keep everything offline until then. Paula... Who the hell is Paula? I need some coffee for this one. Delicious. Okay. We're getting some really interesting stuff. This file, by the way, is what you use to completely wipe everything you've done, so to reset the game, uh, which is which is handy. We also have this trace back, which uh, we, we, we already looked at this. All right, well, I guess that's all for now. Uh, it's time for the side stories, right? I, I, I guess we'll go in order. Top to bottom. Let's do trust. We're going to begin this side story. This looks to be uh, Monica and Sayori, which will be fun. Because those those two are famously uh, basically like opposites of each other. All right. Oh. 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 I'm already fascinated. There's no... no. Oh, that's new. This is a new screen. I've never seen this one before. This one we've, we've seen many, many times. Although it looks really good. I don't know, like I haven't compared to the, oh, hey Monica. And I have no idea who I am right now. I don't know if I'm Link, the character that I created, or if I'm just some guy. Okay, everyone, the literature club is starting. <laughs> Let's all have a seat and take attendance, okay? Since I'm awake early, uh, and it's early in the morning, my voice is naturally just a little deeper than it usually is. So I have to lean into it. And uh, I feel like it's funny that Monica would be Patrick Warburton. <laughs> Let's all take a seat and have a seat and take attendance. Or take a seat and have attendance. Ha, huh, better. Ugh, I missed a bed club. Who knew it would be so difficult to start a new club? I feel worse with every day that passes without anyone coming in. I'm really starting to lose confidence. Oh, Monica's the only member of the literature club? But she's still doing this? She's taking attendance? All right, let's start. Monica, here. Okay, <laughs> next order of business. In the days that have passed, all of her efforts to recruit new members have been fruitless. Have they been vegetable-less, though? Cut that joke. Cut it. It was bad, and I feel bad. Am I going about this wrong? Monica glances at one of her flyers. The headline is, Do you like literature? Maybe nobody is into literature enough to pick it over the other club interests. I can just rely on people like- I can't just rely on people liking literature. The best, uh, speaking error is to change can't to can. Because <laughs> it completely changes everything. I need to sell them on a vision. A vision! But what about WandaVision? What kind of vision? Monica rests her head on the desk, deep in thought, deep thought. Monica. Deep thought, Monica. But before she realizes it, the recent nights of staying up too late start to catch up to her. Uh-oh, she's gonna fall asleep. It's so quiet, and the noise of the air conditioner is soothing. Oh no, she's gonna fall asleep in class. Or, I guess, club. Can you just start your own club with no members and then just be in it? Aren't there, like, weird things about there being clubs? Like, you know, scholarships or grants or something? I feel like they have to be verified by some kind of author club authority. What if you could join the club authority as a club? What if you could be in club club? Yes, I want it. Okay, question marks says, um, hello? I don't know this. Oh my God, it's Sayori. Who could have predicted this? Suddenly, a voice causes Monica to snap awake. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I never do this. Hey, <laughs> is this the napping club? That was funny of me. No, this is... Monica pauses, suddenly embarrassed to admit that this is, in fact, the Literature Club. This is the Literature Club. The Doki Doki Literature Club. Yay! I thought I got it wrong for a sec. 
I'm super sorry. It was like so unprofessional of me to Peter that. I uh, don't apologize. I do that all the time. Oh. Um, did I miss the club meeting? Where is everybody? Well, about that, this is everybody. You're looking at her. Really? Just you? But we're getting more members. I'm working really hard on it. Hold on a sec. If it's just you, that means I get to be vice president. Haha. <laughs> Wait, Vice President? Um, what are your qualifications? Well, I'm better at napping than you. Watch, I'll prove it. Thunk. I try to think of a less annoying voice for Sayori, but um, we'll, we'll get there. Maybe I should be president. <laughs> Monica kills her immediately. Now you're just making fun of me. No, oh, I'm sorry. Um, what was your name? Sayori. <laughs> oh, Sayori. I've been trying really hard on this club. I know you caught me at a weird time, but it's really disheartening to not be taken seriously, you know? Subscribe to Mr. Ed Plays on YouTube, Mr. Ed Productions, subscribe to it. Uh, I care so much about this, I just want to find other people who do too. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I do care, I promise. I have a hard time being serious. I have a hard time being serious, that's all. I didn't mean for it to hurt you. And I was joking about the vice president thing too. I would make a terrible vice president. I mean, I'm sure that Monica tries to say something reassuring, but it's difficult when she still doesn't know much about Sayori. I'm sorry that this isn't like a real club yet. Would you still- Would you still be- oh, Sorry, Sayori, I didn't mean to be making fun of you now. Consider it, Bayback. Uh, uh, by the way, you don't seem to be able to save and or load in these side stories, which is funny. Uh, would you still be interested in joining after I found a few more members at least? Well, no. I want to join now! Really? Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Besides, I can tell how hard you've been working. <clears throat> how about we do this? How about we just say, You're doing something amazing, and you should be proud of it, you know? So let me help you turn something stressful into something fun. If nothing else, I'm good at that, so... <laughs> Honestly, how could I possibly say no to that? That's really sweet of you, Sayori. Oh, I'm Monica, by the way. Monica, that's such a cool name. Oh, now you're just trying to cheer me up. But you're smiling. Well, I didn't say it didn't work. Monica glances at the flyer on her desk and realizes their name is already written on it. So what do we do first? Well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? We can go home and try to come up with some new ideas to recruit club members. I can do that. I can do that. Cool. And I think I need to put some more thought into my vision for the club. You know, like a mission. <laughs> my mission is to make everyone happy. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I need to think about it. Hey, do you like hugs? I guess so. I'm not familiar with your human contact. I always love whenever something physical happens in this game, it just completely decides to forego any kind of visuals at all. And just says, all right, shut up, imagine it. Uh, Sayori suddenly pulls Monica into a friendly hug, then let's go. Some, peop some, some people can just really use a hug sometimes. Besides, Sayori, besides, Sayori whispers loudly, hug energy is what keeps me at my best. Ha uh ha -huh. ha, hug energy, Monica laughs. Although Sayori is very different from her, Mayanica Ma feels her spirits lifted. Maybe it's just because she finally found another club member, but, well, I'm looking forward to tomorrow then. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna think really hard tonight about how to get more people. I, I'm thinking like a giant net and like one of, maybe one of those boxes that you prop up and you put like a candy in and then it just gets them. Then we got more members! It couldn't be simpler, yeah. Me too. Alright, cool! We're, we're making it happen. So this seems to be the introduction of the club. Now, this was initially gonna be, I think, the pitch. I, I, I think Dan Silvato on Twitter was saying stuff about this, how it would be, how the club was formed. Uh, but the fact that they're side stories and they're, they're referred to as non... They, they exist outside of the game. I, I, it, it, maybe it's just outside of the timeline of the game, but within, but it, but it is in the timeline. But I mean, not within the timeline of the game that happens, like it happens before. So it's outside of side. 
A day passes, and the time comes for the literature club, Monica and Sayori, to reconvene. As president, Monica ensures that she's the first to arrive to the club room, but she finds herself waiting longer than expected for Sayori. She's probably sleeping in. It's been ten... It's been ten minutes already. Maybe Peter changed your mind about joining. No, that can't be. She was so excited yesterday. But I'm getting kind of worried. Suddenly, Sayori comes bounding through the door. In her hand, she's holding a sheet of paper. Sorry I'm late. I'm here. It's okay. Welcome back. I thought I'd never see you again, Sayori. And... Sayori spins over to Monica and deposits the sheet onto Monica's desk. Oh, what's this? It's a poem! You know, if... In like a real literature club, I feel like you wouldn't just do poems. I think you'd like read other kinds of books and stuff. Some weird. Uh, take my hand, take my hand, take me forward, take me to your dreamland. Caution me to watch my step so I can't look back at my footprints. Climb the stairs ahead of me while I look up to you. The more I look forward, the more I look up, the more I can lend to you. If you can trust me to follow your pace, I'll trust you to set it. If you can trust me to lend you a smile, I'll trust you to return it. Take my hand, take me forward, take me to your dreamland. All right, so it's, it's turning into a Kirby game. Hey, this is really good. You wrote this, Peter? Of course. Wait, wait, no, that's the wrong side of the paper. Huh? I wasn't ready to share that yet. I'm so embarrassed. Now Monica flips over the paper. Written on the other side is a list of ideas for recruiting new club members. Whoops. That is embarrassing. Oh, so this is what you meant to show me. But I'm curious now. Do you write poetry often? I do, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not anywhere near as good at it as you are. Based on what, Sayori? Aha, uh -huh, really? I'm actually terrible at writing poetry. I've never written anything I was happy with. Like, I always read it again a week after I write it, and I'm like... Wow, this is so stupid. I don't know. It's like the dramatic version of me doesn't agree with the person I want myself to be. Or something like that. Huh? Maybe you should have more confidence in yourself. You're the literature club president. Not me. Now, ha ha. I guess you're not wrong there. I need to, like, set a good example <laughs> or whatever. Hmm. You know, I can envision the club doing something like that. Doing what? You know, like... Sharing poems rewrite and stuff like that. Yeah, I can see it now. They would spend every night choosing random words that would impact other club members. And then we'd share them. And then we'd all die horrifically. It'll be great! Oh yeah, I would love that. It's such a good way to learn about other people, you know? It's like we have so many emotions that we can't express to other people usually. But you can when it's in poem, right? Yeah, I think that's helping me form a more cohesive vision for the club. Maybe we should change the name to Poetry Club. Let's not. I'm so glad you showed me. Well, even though it was by accident. Me too. I felt embarrassed at first, but now it feels kind of good that someone else read it. I'll try to show more of them in the future. I love that. Oh, jeez. I'm getting distracted. Do you want to go over this recruitment brainstorm together? My brain stormed so hard. <laughs> it was like a brain hurricane. All right, Sayori. My brain is a natural disaster. Right. Ah, uh, Sayori, that's better. Anyway, let's take a look at the list. All right, let's see. Make cupcakes. I was hungry. Please tell me that's the only thing on the list, but it's a good idea, isn't it? Um, let me think about this. I mean, when would he have a chance to give people cupcakes? You know, like when they come into the club. What if we said we had what if we said we had free cupcakes on flyers? I'm like kind of worried that would bring in the wrong kinds of people, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't want any filthy cupcake lovers in our club. Wrong kinds? People would just come in for the cupcakes then leave. Like this guy Link I know. Nah, nobody would do nobody would do that. That would be mean, Link. But, you know, I want to find people who are really into literature, even if they don't know it yet. Let's see. The next thing on the list Hunt for people reading books. I don't think I get it. Like going around the school and finding people who are reading books, you know? Like in the morning or during lunch or some third thing. And we tell them to check out the literature club. 
Well, the problem with that is, like, wouldn't most people reading books just be doing it for an assignment or something? How would we know if they're just reading for fun? Um, well, we could ask them, but then we'd be bothering people who are trying to do schoolwork. I didn't think about that part. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. You're coming up with a lot more ideas than I can. Oh, your next idea is to hand out flyers rather than just put them up on the wall. I definitely like to start doing that. I'm useful. <laughs> I never said you weren't, but I thought it. I just need to think. What would we tell people when handing them out? I don't think we... I don't want to just be like, join the literature club. Let's figure out how we can better engage people. What if you told them about the club activities and stuff? What club activities? Yeah, I guess I suppose to be my, my... It's supposed to be my job to come up with that, right? A vision for the club. Wow, you're uh, not very good at this, Monica. Sorry! I don't mean to be rude, but... Honestly? Okay, Sayori, pretend you're a normal person for a second. Wait! I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you know, like a random passerby who's getting a flyer. How would you react to the idea of a literature club? Hmm, probably like, prob probably like, literature is stupid. I'm joining the anime club. Oh, Natsuki showed up. What the heck? Uh -huh. Sorry, I was just thinking of a friend of mine. That's rude, Sayori. You're always going off about me being mean. You're mean. Okay, what, what if I said that like, we do group reading and discuss it together? I would probably nap through that. Monica, you suck at this. You're terrible. <laughs> That's you, Spader. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't really sound fun to most people anyway. We need to really catch their interest, you know? Ugh, this sucks. Why is this so hard? Monica, don't be sad. What do you like about literature, Peter? Me? Well, kind of like what I, what I said about the poem earlier. It gives you the chance to express yourself. Like, express yourself in ways that you can't normally do when you're just doing your normal day and talking to your friends. I mean, we all have so many thoughts and feelings that we just don't get to share, you know? It's like, intimate. Hey, uh, Monica, whoa, what kind of club did you say this is? Uh-oh. Yeah, how do we get that across to people? We could be like, express your true self. Be intimate with us. Okay, that's kind of, eh, I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. What, what, what is it? I forgot all my things in my classroom. I must have gotten too excited and rushed here, silly me. Rushed, but weren't, eh, never mind. Did you want to get your stuff then? What's just happened there? Rushed, oh, because she was late? Well, yeah. Usually when you're late to something, you're like, I gotta hurry up and get there so that I'm not more late to something. Unless you're talking about something else. It's probably that though. Uh, I'll forget if I don't do it now. <laughs> well, I'll wait for you then. Okay, it'll only take a second. Sayori dashes out of the room, leaving Monica momentarily alone. Monica sighs and starts jotting her thoughts on a sheet of paper. Express yourself. I love that song. Be who you want to be. Make new friends. Discover a new you. Discover your heart. No, write your heart out. No, write into your heart. Write the way into your heart. Join the literature club. Write the way into your heart. Wow, that's lame. Monica! Ah, you startled me. Sorry, sorry, but it's something important. On the way to the classroom, there was a girl reading a book. Reading a book? Let's hurry and recruit her. Wait, are you saying, are you sure she's not just doing homework? I don't care. Get the net. I could tell she was really into it. Maybe she's really into her homework. Well, I guess we could take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Whoops, I missed that last one. Check out the history. I, wanna, I, I missed that last one. Monica grabs one of her flyers and stands up from the desk. Okay, great. Glad we didn't miss anything important. Then the two depart the classroom with Sayori leading the way. We're going to meet somebody. I bet it's going to be Sayori. It, it can be Sayori. I, know. I bet it's going to be Natsuki. This way. You don't have to run. Sayori leads Monica over to our particular classroom. No, it's actually going to be Yuri. She likes to. Well, they both like to read, obviously. Shit, who could it be? Uh, I'm going to bet Yuri. That's a final guess, Yuri. 
Sayori leads Monica over to a particular classroom, then lowers her voice to a whisper. See? In here. Monica peers through the window. Sure enough, there's a girl sitting alone, intently reading a book. I feel like a creep doing this. You should go inside and talk to her. Me? You're the president, and I would probably scare her away. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Monica takes a deep breath, then timidly enters the classroom. All right, here we go. Who's it going to be? That was fast. Oh my gosh. I'm so embarrassed. Why? What happened? Um, well, I entered the classroom, and she didn't even look up from her book. So I just kind of left the flyer on her desk, and then walked out. <laughs> That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Sorry, Monica. But I'm sure she'll see it and want to join the club. Yeah, I hope so. Shall we head back now? The two head back to the club room, Sayori feeling rather accomplished, and Monica still feeling a bit embarrassed by the encounter. It's to be expected. Upon returning, Monica and Sayori resume their strategy meeting. They discuss various different kinds of recruitment tactics, from professional to silly. After going through Sayori's list and with Monica coming up with ideas of her own, the two end up in a better spot than from where they began. Well, I would say today was pretty productive, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we're starting to make progress. I can't wait to get some new members. Hey, what's this? Sayori peers at the sheet of paper Monica was jotting on earlier. Oh, don't mind that. I was just thinking to myself. Join the literature club. Write the way into your heart? That's so cute! Ha ha ha. I thought it was a little overdramatic, but... Sayori pauses and thinks for a moment. You know, I don't think you give yourself enough credit. What? What do you mean? Like... I don't know. I feel like I can tell from talking to you today. It just seems like you're always afraid of doing something. Yeah, but would you call yourself a perfectionist? Yeah, I definitely am. I mean, I always have an idea in my head of how I want things to go, and it's like, I can't accept anything less than that. But I think in the end, it helps me try my hardest at everything, so I don't think it's that bad. Like with this club. We have such a perfect opportunity to make it exactly how we envision it. But it feels like we only have one shot at it. You cannot miss your chance to blow. So, I'm just really afraid of having a bit deviating from that. The vision. The Wanda vision. What's the vision? What's the vision? It's... Monica pauses to think, then shakes her head to herself. She sighs. I don't know. I just want everyone to... Monica trails off, smiling. Sayori taps her finger against the sheet of paper. Hey, you know what? It was weird because Monica's whole thing, her entire shit, is getting you, the player, to fall in love with her. And this is a Monica without the player. So that's like, that's interesting. Because like, what, what, what kind of character is that then? She seems to be completely purposeless and directionless, which is fun. Uh, smiling, Sayori taps. Yep, uh, right the way, right the way into your heart. I think what you're trying to do is to make the club that you need the most out of anyone. Well, you're the one who knows yourself best, of course, but I'm here to help you. Monica returns Sayori's smile. How nice. It's sort of amazing how kind you are. I can't wait to kill you later. We're going to make this the best club ever. Sayori nods, and the two remain silent for a moment. Lost in thought. The only sound is a steady whisper of the air conditioner. The sound of an air conditioner. And the only movement is the afternoon sunlight trickling its way in and out of the moving clouds. Sayori breaks the moment with a big yawn. Time to go home? You tell me. You are the president. <laughs> in that case, today's meeting is officially over. I look forward to tomorrow. Me too. Sayori beams and grabs her things. You can go on ahead. I need a few moments still. Oh, I can wait. That's all right. I just want some alone time. Get the hell out of here, Sayori. Hmm, in that case, Sayori waves enthusiastically at Monica. Good luck! Monica smiles and waves in return as Sayori spins her way out of the club room. All alone, she sighs to herself and takes a minute to zone out. She wasn't prepared for the self-reflection encouraged by Sayori, but she decides it was something she probably needed right about now. The club that I need the most. I don't get it. I just wanted to start a club with more passion. Something I could use to help lead people to happiness. Literature is the key to that because it's the window to the real person inside us. Underneath the person who's forced to always smile and blend in. The person who's forced to be... Peter. 
Hmm? Monica suddenly notices a folder on the floor by her desk. Did Sayori leave this behind? I hope it doesn't have her homework in it. Worried, Monica opens the folder to check. Po poems. It's a folder of poems. Become the flower. A feeling of joy is a flower plucked from the ground. The color. The scent. It's so pretty in my hair. Every day I pluck some flowers as though they grew just for me. A lifetime of peace and nourishment yanked away in an instant, all for me, all for joy. I need more. I need more joy. I need more happy. Pluck, pluck, pluck every day. Pluck, 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 so pretty in my hair. Pluck, pluck, pluck. You're going to die. And you, too. Beneath my feet, a flower stands alone. It beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what ends? I look in every reflection, and the field I stand in, the prosperous field, is a barren wasteland. The fruits of my labor, the carnage of my joy, and that is why I've decided I must become the flower. What the? What? Say, Ori. All right, that was weird. Oh, I think we've done it. Okay, yeah. Well, that was Trust Part 1. Hey, you know what? Let's do it in the next episode, Trust Part 2, because this is going to be long. I don't want them to be too long, so let's cut it up. Uh, Trust Part 2, it'll come out soon. I actually don't know when I'm going to be able to record next. I got to book it right now, but um, uh, we'll see. It'll come out soon. It'll be in the next couple days. So, uh, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Red, spelled out the long way, Mr. Uh, plays, at Mr. Red Plays. For updates, I will keep you guys informed. This is really exciting stuff. I was a huge fan of uh, DDLC when it first came out. And the fact that there's more of it! It's like DDLC 2, actually. I bet if you were to like find the time of these side stories, it would equal out to about the main game. And that's that's exciting, I think. You can think whatever you want. I think it's exciting. Until then, I've been Mr. Red. Wait. Before we go on about that, there's been a new mail, Ria Vorte side stories. We'll read this later um, in the next one, but cool. So we got more stuff to look at. We did unlock more music, which I, I, I knew that I would now. Na, 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 na. Oh, a lot of it. Oh, I bet there's going to be new music written specifically for these side stories. So that makes sense. And more pictures, but whatever. All right. Thanks for watching. Tune in soon for more of this. Tune in uh, later today. Uh, there's a new, I think, Batman's coming out uh, right now. So a new Batman Arkham Asylum is out. So there's going to be kind of interchanged uh, some stuff that I've pre-recorded mixed with this. So I guess it's all pre-recorded. Whatever. See you then, everybody. Until then, have a Mr. Red. Stay spooky out there. And remember, keep watching. Thank you.